And we're live. Hello, everyone, and welcome to this stream uh, learning how to use the micro bit. This is Pelly from the Miko team, and we have Emil. Emil. And today we're going to do one of the tutorials that you can find on makecode.microbit.org. You can open that in your browser. If you're watching this on YouTube, you can also right click two times on the video and start the video in picture in picture so that you can see the video stream and uh, and your editor at the same time. If you don't have a micro bit, that's fine because you can actually use a simulator. So everything yeah. we're going to do today, you can do it in the browser. But don't worry if you don't have the, the simulator. So we're here in makecode.microbit.org uh, and today, what are we going to do today? Um, snap the dot. Snap the dot. Let's see about that. So I think it's in games, right? In games, and there are many tutorials in game, but this is a fun tutorial. It's called Snap the Dot. And uh, we're gonna learn all about that. We're actually gonna learn how about to use a mini game engine that exists in Microbit. Let's go. So snap the dot. Snap the dot is a game of skill where the player has to press A exactly when a dot reaches the center of the screen. So imagine you're going to have a dot that goes and when it hits the center, you have to press the button at the same time. Start sprite to zero. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to create a sprite. And if you're familiar with MakeCode Arcade, it's the same concept. The sprite is uh, an element of your game that you can use to uh, animate uh, something on the screen. In the case of Microbit, a sprite is really one one of the LEDs I'm going to turn on. Okay, so I have to make a variable. Yeah, we want to make a variable. It's going to be our dot. So let's just call it dot. Oh, do we call it sprite or dot? Dot. Oh, no, no, no. Wait, the tutorial says sprite. You're right. Okay, and we want to... We want to set it, we want to drag it in the on start. Okay, and that's what we, we want to do. Now this is interesting. We're going to pull a creates right block and we're going to store it in, um, in set sprite. Okay. So this is very similar to arcade. Now you don't see, there's a section in advanced and it's called game. So it's a bit hidden, but you can find it if you scroll down to advanced. And you see that you can create a sprite at position 2, 2. Now let's talk about these positions. Oh, you see that there's a dot that opened in the simulator? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, it doesn't move. Actually, leave your mouse over the dot. And see, it shows you a tooltip. It tells you the position, the coordinate of that dot. So let's go over another dot. That's three, three, zero, two. Uh, go to the top left. So zero, zero. So in uh, microbit, just like in arcade, uh, we uh, number the, the LEDs from the top left and then we go, the first number is X. So we're gonna have, come on little tooltip. Well, we're going to have 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then the second number is going to be Y, so... And usually, like in math, you'd have 0, 0 down there. So this is 0, 0, and then this is 4, 4. So we start counting at 0. It's very common. It's, it, typically, you count, start counting at 1 where in real life, but in programs, we like to start at 0. So we created a sprite, and a sprite is just an LED that's turned on. All right. Okay. So it has an X and it has a direction. Okay, well, it's not moving, so let's see what, what it does. Okay. First, at the center facing right, put a move block to the front. So the stride is facing right. Okay, I, I trashed that forever, but I can just grab a new one. And there's more blocks in game, and I think there's a block to move it. And we can... Go. We can move the sprite by one coordinate. Yeah, let's put it under. 
Uh, how about we stack them up so we can see them on the video stream? So put on start on top. Mm -hmm. And yeah. There you go. There we go. Okay. And let's see. Oh, yeah. So if you restart the simulator, it goes quick. Really? Do you see it? Yeah. It's really fast. <laughs> uh, so something, something went wrong there. Ooh. Oh, it has a small sad face. Look. Yeah, it sometimes crashes the simulator for some reason. Yeah. No. Oh, we got a bug. All right. So it's a bit too fast. Let's see. Uh, let's see how we're gonna fix that. We have a F1 edge bounce. Okay, I'm doing. All right, so we're gonna do that. Oh wow, that's very fast. Imagine you have to hit A with that. Let's actually try it on the hardware. Let's see how it looks like right now. Oh, oh okay. So let's click on uh, download. And we're gonna do save as. And we're gonna select the micro bit drive, which we've attached with the USB. And now switching Zilli is gonna, you can move out the yellow one. We're not going to use it. Okay. Okay, turn it around. Try to, try to click A when it hits the middle. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be that's going to be tough. <laughs> well, we don't have the code that does anything, really. Yeah, also. That's maybe a bit too fast. Maybe too fast for me. Yeah. Too fast for everybody. Okay. One hundred. Where do you want to put it? I have to put it somewhere in the loop. I think I put it in the forever. Oh, well, that's yeah. easy. Well, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Let's keep it a hundred, and we'll see. Uh, we'll adjust it. Use the simulator to find the best speed. Oh yeah, so we can adjust it. Yeah. Okay. Well, 100 doesn't look too bad. You want to do a bit less? Yeah, a bit less. 80. Yeah. Okay, let's try it up on the hardware. Let's see how it looks like. It's actually kind of hard. Well, you don't have any code that handles. Oh yeah. Button A. Take a look at that. <laughs> and Zeli, can you hold it in front of the camera? All right, it's transferred. And now we see that. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't do anything with the buttons yet. I think we could put it like up to 90. But let's actually finish the program. Then we'll, we'll really, we'll try it with the real game. We'll see how this works. Okay, so click on more. When A is pressed, test if the sprite is centered, is in the center or not. Use, Use a button pressed to block the hint. Oh, let's try to do it without the hint. So let's see. How about you collapse the, oh, we can't collapse the minute. The button and let's move everybody out. We need some space to think. Just move the whole view. All right. Okay, so this code, what does this code do? Okay, and we have we want to test. Oh look look at the third block there. You know this round block, it lets you read the the current coordinate of the sprite. So it tells you which X position it is. Okay, so that's one good thing. Let's keep that block around. Let's just drop it somewhere. Um, that's it. Oh. And you want to test if it's equal to two. Now, how do you test things about equality? Mm, that's a number. What else do we have? Nothing here. Oh, oh, diamond chain block. That looks pretty promising. 
it fits right there. And we can check that if we read, so this is the horizontal coordinate of Sprite, and we're going to test that it's equal to yeah. the 2. And what do we do there? Um, so, let's see. Okay, wait, no, nothing happens yet. Nothing so. happens because we all have no code. Add score and the game over block the hintable success. Okay. So let's go back to game. It looks like it's green. It must be a game thing. Oh, okay, change score by one. This is like, uh, this is like the arcade. So if it's two, that means it's in the middle. And remember, two is in the middle because we start counting at zero, one, two. It's the third row. Now, is that going to work? Oh, you always lose. Turn on slow-mo. Let's see what goes on. Oh, yeah. Oops. oh there we go. <laughs> okay, uh, I kind of have a slight idea. The game over. I'm going to put this up to like 90. Let's see. Oh, you didn't, you didn't hit zero. You have to click back in the editor. There we go. No. It's kind of hard. I mean, it's a skill game. Just uh, restart the simulator. Or press AB. What? I think it might be easier uh, on the hardware. Let's, let's, this has to be actually, yeah. You haven't been here. Let me see if I can do it. <laughs> My turn. Oh. We always lose? <laughs> Wait, see if you can get it let's, right. Let's, let's, get, let's go very slow to see if we can do that. Maybe it's just that we're really bad at it. Oh, yeah. It's possible. It's just hard. Very hard. All right. Very well, hard. Uh, let's go back to this and let's see if we can put it on the on the hardware. All right. So let's download because it's actually different clicking and yeah. uh, doing it, you know, on the micro bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. So Zilly, you have to hit the button A when the dot is in the middle. I think it's it's think transferred. Oh, game over. Pull it back. Game over. Game over. Press A, B to restart. Oh, yeah, you scored. Oh, three in a row. Yeah, the game over is going <laughs> to... Emil, let's see how much you can do. <laughs> what? Uh, game over. <laughs> you have to anticipate when it goes in. What? I think Zeli is crushing you. Two points. No. Oh, wow. Record is still unbeaten. <laughs> My turn. Oh, wait, I messed it up a little. My turn now. Can I try? You have to be in the center of the view and hold the micro bit flat. <laughs> so this is a hard game, but uh, <laughs> just like every skill game. So this is cool. We've uh, we've learned how to use this game engine. And actually, let's finish the tutorial and see let's see what else we can do with these little sprites. <coughs> Go ahead and uh, and exit and oh, are we done? No, Let's see. there's one more. Oh, you're done. Okay. Download. <laughs> yeah, and let's exit the tutorial. Okay, we finished. And again, when you finish, you get access to all the blocks. I don't know you, if there's stuff to modify for this one though. We could, we could just do another one. Ooh, we can do all kind of funny things here. There's a life. 
Maybe we don't do game over immediately. Yeah, you have three lives. So instead of... Mm, where is our block? I instead of just game overing, we remove a life. And then we have to set life. Uh, I'm pretty sure we start with three lives. It's kind of the default. Oh, wait, you didn't put any set life. Oh, yeah. Oh, I randomly hit Oh, it. that's more fun when you when you remove a life. It's really hard to hit. I always hit it too late. You almost have to hit it when it's on the previous one. Yeah. I, I hit it when it's on the previous one and I make it. Yeah, because by the time your brain decides to press the finger oh, what a streak. and go to the finger, it's already gone to the next. Uh, you have to anticipate. Oh, there you go. Now you have it. Mill is, uh, is in a massive streak here. Oh! Uh, <laughs> let's put it on the hardware. Let's see if it's more fun to play like that. It's already on the hardware. Oh, yeah. All right, and we're going to right-click and save link, and we're switching to the hardware, and it's blinking, so we're transferring the program in the micro bit. All right, Zili, let's show your skills. One. One life less. Oh, what's going on? <laughs> it froze. <laughs> it froze. Okay, now just click A and B. A and B. Yes. Two points. <laughs> oh, one life. Oh. Oh, why? oh, there's something going on. There's something going on. Yeah, there's something going on with removing the lives. Well, maybe it shows one life less. Let's see what happens. All right, I just removed life. Yeah. No, we could do. Wait, I want to do something. Oh, we were in, in the slow mo. Well, I think that that finishes this tutorial. You know what? We're gonna try another one. Yeah. I uh, this was fun. Short. So let's go back.